There was a story I heard in the week, I think it was on the radio, and I don't know all the details, but what I heard was that a number of, I think it was Falkland, uh, maybe Gulf War, war veterans, were, I think, suing or complaining to the government because they wanted compensation for post-traumatic stress disorder. Now, I don't know all the ins and outs of it, but it seems to me that if you're in the army and you're a soldier, a certain degree of trauma is kind of inevitable. I mean, after all, if you're any good at your job, you are going to see people getting killed. So I don't understand what the ins and outs of it are. I don't <laughs> know why. No, if I only came back and Tony Blair met him and go, all right, well, not really, no. Go on, what's the matter? Well, if you, there was people shooting at us and everything that was all muddy, well, calm down, don't cry. Well, I will. There was a drill sergeant just kept shouting, saying, look at you, stupid boy, where's this well, gun's not clean? Well, I just cleaned the gun and it was fine, and now he's telling me to clean it again. Yeah, the boots, uh, they were, they were oh, shining. Well, he's got to do that, it's more disgusting. His neck was as big as his head. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, but you don't know what they, you know. I don't know, know what the ins and outs of it are, but, um. Uh, is it, what you got to do is make sure you know what you're going into, that's what I do, you got to check the small print. So if I was, you know, going over to, the, like, the Falklands or, you know, the Gulfs, I'd put my hand up and go, will, uh, will it be horrible? I go, you hear it back, yes? Will it be horrible? <laughs> it, it will be horrible, yes. It will be horrible. There will be shooting and lots of death and everything. I go, right, I'm not going to go. And they go, <laughs> exactly. okay then. Okay. That should be fine, yeah. should be fine, yeah. Just like that. Is anyone else scared about this? Uh, pretty much all of us. Okay then, well, we won't send anyone <laughs> <Yeah>. then. <laughs> exactly. My um, brother, my brother went into the army, right, because, um, because he couldn't get a normal job. And my dad said, you know, if you don't get a job by such a date, that's it, son, you're going in the army. And then, oh. so when, when was the Falklands? Was it about eight? Eighty-one, right? And he joined back in like eighty-one or something. And uh, he, he, I don't know, he was an older shot or something. Oh yeah. And uh, he wrote back to me, mum, saying, uh, you know, a bad time to join, bad time in this. So she wrote, <laughs> "What bad time to join? That's so sweet, Carl, isn't it?" That's like, dear dad. Yeah, well done. Um, <laughs> don't know if you've noticed. Yeah. Uh, I was on the doll, that, that's for sure. Uh, thank you for joining, uh, a month before the Belgrano. Anyway. Uh, go on. My mum called up, spoke to the sergeant, and said, can you leave him out of this one? Can you leave him out of this one? What, he, the Falkland War? He's only just joined and she called him Chuck, which he got done for. Like, she, she's one of them, it's, I think it's a northern thing, like saying, how are you, Chuck? Yeah. And she called the sergeant Chuck, and he, he, he the sergeant said to her, like, my brother, uh, your mum, you know, she's called up and asked if you can not go, which, uh, of course, you know, I mean, it, it, we'll see how it goes. But can what? You tell what do you mean? Why did the sergeant even entertain this? Well, it's... Pilkington, come here. Your mum's been giving me a bit of earache. Now, listen, tell her I've told you, but can you call her, because she was really, she called me Chuck and everything. Can you call her and say you don't mind? Well, not really. Oh, please, because I've promised her I'll say you want to go. No, please, say you want to go. Why was he entertaining this phone call? Probably because he was new. What? Because he was new to the army, I suppose. Who? No, you're, I mean the sergeant. Uh, I don't know, maybe so, they do that. So what happened? Did he didn't go in the end? So he didn't go, no. You can't do- But you that's ludicrous! I, I love it that- Oh, uh, we're going over the top. Pilton, no, I've, I've got a note. Yeah. Is this- is this really your mum? Yeah. Okay, no, this seems to be in you order. No, you- because I notice it says, um, uh, I do not want to go into the army, I don't want to go and fight, and it's crossed out and it's good. my mum says don't yeah. go. Now, you didn't this write is, this yourself. No, no, my mum wrote this. Okay, you definitely wrote this yourself. Your excuse. You're gonna have to d um, fill envelopes. No, I'm, I'm sure <laughs> if, if he was needed he would have had to go, but I think they made a bit of a special effort, they sort of said, oh. Well, it wasn't conscription anyway. Oh no, obviously But were the, the other soldiers thing, going around just going, <laughs> Wilkington! <laughs> no, he ended up being a mechanic in there, and he got kicked out for, um, going for a packet of fags in a tank. <laughs> What? Now, wait a minute, wait a minute. Do you mean he nipped down the shops yeah. in a tank? Yeah. I don't yeah. believe that, Carl, you've oh, made Mr. that Honest to God. That, and he went off with the sergeant's wife. So that didn't help and he ended up getting kicked out. Sorry, your, your brother's a genius. Yeah. I love this, I love this. First of all, um, he gets a call from his mum, going to let him off, and he goes, oh God. Then he goes, uh, uh, where is, where's Pilkington? His mum's on the phone. He's, where is he? Um, he's near your house, Sarge. Near my house? Well, why is... No, no reason. Uh, well, when he comes back, when he's finished, tell him his mum called. And can he get me a packet of hands? <laughs> tell him to walk this time. Wow. This is ludicrous. The, so the sergeant phoned out that he was sleeping yeah, I, with his wife? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, did, I was Did your mum phone out and say, let him off? <laughs> <laughs> no, let him off this time. Him. Can he... T yeah, yeah. That's yeah. fantastic. But he misses it. I mean, I haven't seen him for about 11 years. 
But ever since he came out, he's just kept getting into trouble and that. And the army, you know, people slag it off, but I think if you're a certain type of person, it's, it's good for it you. It didn't straight him either, how did it? No. He was going down the shops in a tank, he was shagging someone no, behind but their he was, back. it's yeah. really weird. It's like back then, he was like a proper adult and he had a house and he collected crystal with his wife and that. <laughs> and now, he hasn't got any of that. Has he got the wife? No. Has he got the crystal? Don't think he has. And he I, I, I seriously haven't seen him for about 11 or 12 years. Oh, so I it always st Carl's stories always start off nice and funny, and then they just leave me empty and slightly yeah. depressed. I don't know whether to hug him or shoot him, put him <laughs> out of his misery. Can we take Carl to the- uh, phone in if you think I should take Carl to the vet and have him put down. Cos it's just too stressful.